They don't taste like chicken. They don't taste like channel catfish either. That's why many Kansas anglers prefer blue catfish, a white meat, particularly tasty game fish that can grow to giant sizes of more than 100 pounds. And that's why Kansas Wildlife and Parks grows these potential bruisers for stocking into Kansas reservoirs. Late October found many of the state's hatchery biologists on a fall roundup of blue catfish at Farlington Fish Hatchery near Girard. Blue cat fry received in spring from the state of Arkansas were grown out in a Farlington rearing pond for statewide distribution. Randy Nelson, Farlington hatchery manager for Kansas Wildlife and Parks, tells more. We're out here, we're going to harvest our blue catfish today. We've uh, got these fish in in the end of May and now it's time to harvest and uh, today's going to be a lot of fun. We get to see uh, all the fish that we've been uh, keeping alive through the summer and uh, trying to make uh, fish for the Kansas fishermen. Uh, the, the biologist that, that's in charge of this project is Dan Mosier here at the Farlington Hatchery and uh, he's been instrumental in making this program work uh, over the years and, and uh, in its development and uh, success. We're going to take close to 8,000 pounds of fish out of this pond today, which is why we have everybody here so that we can uh, get them all on trucks and get them to all the lakes that they're going to. Uh, as, as we harvest these fish today, they're going to go out to nine different reservoirs and uh, by the end of the day, they're all going to be in the water in their lakes across the state. Uh, uh, we're going to be driving hundreds of miles in some cases to get them out. The harvest method is fast and efficient. Fingerlings are scooped up from drained shallow water and moved by crane from the rearing pond to aerated fish trucks and trailers. Fish are weighed and tabulated during harvest with fish sorted by order for each target lake. Excess fish go back to Arkansas as part of the cooperative aid agreement. Kansas Wildlife and Parks works on many such projects to the benefit of Kansas resources and sportsmen. Today's work will mean better Kansas fishing tomorrow. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.